field, led by their skipper, the number 10, Dalen Mainers. And they're going to be playing into what breeze there is, and it's really been lovely conditions for rugby in this uh, opening games of this festival. Just a gentle breeze blowing out of the northeast. It's cool and crisp up here in Kersley, but it's warming up to be a very pleasant late summer's day. It's not humid at all, which is good for the rugby players. We're underway in game three as Framesby get things started through the boot of uh, Logan Muller, and it's back to... Miners who just does a simple exit strategy and sticks it into touch as they feel each other out in the first couple of minutes of this third game of the booster. To the back they go from Ace, taken by Kutsia, down to Miners. On the loop is uh, Duploy. Hannery has to take above his head. Shambriel in the line will release Fenta. The chip and chase. How will it bounce? It bounces kindly for Monument and they get the score. The bounce of the rugby ball can always be a terrible thing, and it bounced kindly. And Keanu Everson has gotten for the opening score, and Monis. And here is uh, Maynard to try and add the extra two, which he's done. And Monument have opened up a seven point cushion. Well, we've seen in the first two games, seven points. And it'll be Antonio to feed again. Better from Framesby. Scragged by Everson. And he comes away with it, does Everson, has he got some wheel support inside? Excellent work from Monos. They just need to find, and they have. They've found Deploy, he's caught just short. Quick recycle and over. That's brilliant work from Monos, seizing on the breakdown at the scrum. And Nathan Erasmus has got in for the score on the attack and given away further opportunity. But nonetheless, they're controlling things as much as they want. Miners. Sees a lot of space behind Tristan Africa, and the ball runs perfectly for Monument inside the 22. However, oh, that advantage will not be gleaned because the halftime whistle goes, and Monument are looking suitable, oh, admirable leaders here at uh, Game 3 of the Standard Bank Kirsten Easter Rugby Festival. Framesby are scoreless at the break. Monas have got in for two tries. It's Monument 14, Framesby 0. So half an hour to play, second half with the breeze at their back. Miners sticks it up into the air. Africa calls off, and he has been a little shining light for Framesby. He gets his pass away to Konze Hendricks as they show a bit of enterprise. Miners, he's done incredibly well, even on the early tackle. Still stepping, going, find support, and it'll be an early score in the second half from Michiel Berger through the brilliant stepping of Dalen Miners. And that is just the early score that Monument wanted, and that may really be the mental blow in that try. Sticks it through the uprights. Successful conversion. His third successful conversion. 21 points to nil. Rasmus takes it on, looking for his second score. This is game defense by Framesby. They've actually driven Monument back a yard or two. Miners deploy. Urson brought down by Africa, pops it up to Everson, and in for the score. Even though he's on the wing, you can't keep him out of the game. Everson in for the try. You mentioned Framesby were committed on defense, and they thought that it was going to be tight play from... Miners adds two more. It's 28 points to nil. Frames we need to be the next to score in this one. Men from Monument, as it's Boerter who comes away. They still want to play, even though time's up on the clock. They've got the ball, they're going to have a crack. It's been turned over. Wrestling for it just short of the Monument line is Framesby. Ah. No, not coming out. Held up. And with that, the final whistle will go. And in a match that probably didn't rise to the heights of the first two games, there was still enough entertainment for the small crowd that's remained for the lunchtime fixture. Four tries to one, Monument have outscored Framesby. And in the end, having led 14-0 at halftime, the final score here is Monument 28, Framesby 7.